What is happening YouTube? Larry McKeaton here representing Formula Golf. I have a special treat today. I am out here at De Anza Country Club out in Borrego Springs, which is a county of San Diego, Far East County in the desert. This is one of the purest golf courses in all of San Diego. And I'm excited to play here because I have a tournament here next week, the De Anza Classic for the Golden State Tour, February 26th through 28th. Lyle in the golf shop was nice enough to let me out today, film my round here. I'm gonna play this as a practice round. I've never been out here before. So uh, we're both gonna be along in this ride together for the first time. Hopefully I can hit some shots, get a good feel for this golf course, give you a little bit of a rundown of what I do to prepare leading up to golf tournaments. Uh, it looks like there's not really anybody out here. I got the whole course to myself. So let's go hit some, hit some shots. So hole one out here is 373 yards. Slight dog leg to the right. It looks like there's OB on both sides. I have heard that you can hit driver here almost everywhere if you take really aggressive lines, but seeing as how this is the first time I've ever played here, I'm just gonna hit a four iron, expect to have 130 in, and uh, just hit a little laser beam to see if I can start off with a wedge. When I get up there, I'll start looking to see if there's hazards or if there's a lot more space than I would think with my driver. I towed that one a bit, but it went straight. Be in the fairway. So I hit my forearm in the fairway for my actual play ball, what I'd probably do in a tournament. I'm gonna find out if there's more room to the right than I think. It looks like there's plenty of room over these trees, so I'm gonna bomb driver, see what, what that puts me in at. That one was smoked right down on my line. We'll see what it looks like up there. So with my layup four, and I left myself a long way back. Uh, the pin's in the back. I'm 160 to the middle, but 176 to the back. Uh, I mean, it was a big miss hit, but nonetheless, it looks like a pretty friendly green. I'm gonna hit an eight iron here. Kind of coast one in. Just hit that about four or five feet or so. There's a lot more room up here. I mean, there's obviously OB both ways. I can hit driver, but I think in the tournament I'll probably hit my two iron, maybe even a three wood to get past this batch of trees on the right. It opens up a lot more. So I don't want to leave myself with 170 yards into a short par four ever. So here's what I got in from my tee shot with my second tee shot with the driver. I have 80 yards into this back pen. Really a nice, it would be a nice easy way to start in a, in a golf tournament, but a little bit too stressful of a tee shot, I think. It's fairly wide, but I'm a firm believer in starting off, you know, with a nice solid tee shot, solid second shot, and even if it's just a nice easy par to start with, it really settles the nerves a lot. So I'll still probably play the shot with an iron and just I'm at, get, make sure I get myself under 150, and so it'll still be a wedge anyway. Wow, these greens are really firm. I mean, that was a good shot too, but really firm so far. So my birdie putt's about 10 feet here. A little deceptive from the fairway. I thought it was a little bit closer, but this is right up the hill. When you play in the desert, they always seem to have a weird break to them that breaks towards something. Like in Palm Desert, it goes towards Indio, and I believe in Borrego, everything goes towards the Salton Sea, which is that away. So this should climb up the hill left to right. I think I got a good line here. Wow, that was a good
good putt. It broke a lot more than I thought. I'll take the par to start with, though. Nothing wrong with that. I'm starting to sense a pattern here of, of shortish uh, holes that have OB both sides that are deceptively look like they look narrow, but I don't think they actually are. So I just lasered a tree out there uh, that are 280 and past that is a wall where, the, where a house is and it's 330 to go OB on that line. So I know if I block this, I'll still be in place. So I feel pretty, pretty safe with hitting a driver here. You know, it, uh, I am playing a mini tour event and I have to learn to be more aggressive in these events. I treat them like they're majors a lot and I play conservatively a little bit too often. So. I'm going to try to hit a lot of drivers, unless it's silly to do so. And this hit the crap out of it. I kind of hit it like high heel and hit it really, really high. But it's in the fairway in play, no problem. That was a pretty bad miss hit. I'm about I'm 95 yards away. The hole is 386. I think this is pretty much where a normal three wood would go, which would take a, uh, a, this bunker out of play and also keep it short of these trees. So I might be a good play. Even if the pin's in the back, I shouldn't have more than 120 or so. So I might just hit a three wood to avoid an awkward yardage. Because if I hit one really good, I think I'd have a like probably a 70 yarder to that front pin. And with these greens being as firm as they are, that'd be kind of tough. But Right here, I got a full 60 degree, so I'm going to try to attack this thing. Left it out to the right, but that's about uh, 15, 16 feet or so. Definitely play this to the safe side. I think if you miss it a little bit left, it, well, I know that it falls off right here pretty steep, and you'd be really short sighted to have a crazy fast putt. So, from where my mat, it's still downhill, but it's not near as bad of a leave as if I left it left of the hole. This will be a good test to see how fast these greens are going downhill. They're nice and tame going uphill, but these things are pretty pure. So I think it would be pretty quick as it goes. So I'm going to play more break. I don't know if you guys watched Riviera last week, but they had a black line for the for the fast pace line, the yellow line for the for the lag line. I'm going to try to take the, the yellow line on this one. I mean, that thing snapped a lot. It's not a bad putt. It's, you got to be pretty defensive with those ones. The more I'll play out here, the, the more used to these greens I'll get, especially the speed. I, this one of my problems is uh, adjusting to speed of greens. I, sometimes it takes me a really long time. far. Got a really cool looking par 3 here. It's 190 yards. Well actually let me double check. At least that's what it says on the scorecard. Pins in the middle here. Yeah 191. It's a little cold. It's like 60 degrees but still in the desert the ball always goes farther. So I'm going to hit a 7 iron which is normally just over 180 club. And I think with how firm these greens are anyway, if I land it short on this number, it should release right on up there. I'm gonna hit a draw into this hole and make sure I get there. Not 
turning as much as I wanted. But perfect distance and it looks like there's a slope that's funneling it towards the hole. It's about 20 feet or so. So this is another one of those uh, deceiving shots from back in the tee box. This is a lot closer than I thought it was. It's about 14 feet or so. This is one of those putts that goes uphill uh, before it catches the break and then as it starts breaking it goes downhill and speeds up. These are putts that I've actually been struggling on lately because I, I can't seem to want to commit to uh, hitting it hard enough on the high line in fear of leaving it low and having blown it by. But on this one, I'm going to commit and make sure I hit it hard enough. It's going to break a ton, probably two and a half feet worth of break. There's a ridge right behind this hole here, about five feet behind it. That's going to really take it a lot. Oh, look at that thing go. I mean, I guess I would have had to play it another two feet higher. I thought I hit that thing with good speed too. These things are fast out here. Just gotta hit it firm and keep the speed up. but that's three good looks in a row that I've had. It would have been nice to pour at least one of them in, but the last two putts were pretty difficult. Hole 13 out here is a 546 yard par five. It's a little into the wind actually. And there's a bunker out there on the left that's 295, so that's definitely in play, but the trees that are on the right are easily carryable. So I'm gonna play it left of those trees and kind of just keep, keep it away from that bunker because I think if I hit it anywhere up there, I should have a chance at two. perfect cutting down the right side of the fairway from my angle what it looks like but should catch it nice. so I got 272 yards to this back pin and up 244 to the front I'm not a big fan of hitting this three wood off the ground but I know if I just get it to the front it will release onto the back so I'm gonna hit a three wood here I don't see any trouble so I'm going to choke up on this thing and try to hit kind of like a slammy cut. Ah! Hit it well, just pushed it. Yeah, I caught the right side of the green or like in the rough area and then bounced more to the right. So shouldn't be too bad of a leave though. Here's a shot I left myself. It's kind of dicey. I'm going to have to hit a flop from here. Um, in case you guys have noticed that there's a lot of like, le like leaves and twigs and stuff on the ground. Yesterday there was a big storm in San Diego. Blew right over the mountains and then came over here and took out some trees. So we're going to have some uh, debris in the way slopes down away from me so I'm not to really hit this thing high it'd be right in my line though that's a tough par 
There's not really any good places to miss except for short. So had I known that, I probably would have just hit my two iron and being just short and had the whole length of the green to chip up to. But you live and learn, I know that for next time. Another short par four, 380 yards. I think every par four has been like 380 yards or in that area. The wind has picked up a little bit, a little dog leg right. Again, it looks like there's a lot of room. I'm gonna hit the same tee shot I hit in the last hole. Leave myself about you know, 70, 80 yards in or so. This tree up here fell on down, straight down, to not too bad of a spot. I actually think I might have got lucky because if I was in the rough and I was another 15 yards up, it would have been a really awkward shot with these with this front pin here. So not too bad. Fly is not very good. It could come out really dead or really hot, but I do have 92 yards. I think I'm coming out a little bit hot because uh, I'm into the wind here and my full lob wedge usually goes about 94. But in a perfect world I'd land this just short of the green and it'll release right on up. Right at it. Oh! That thing released 20 feet. I mean, I landed it a foot on the green, like right on the hole. Brutal. Got to play out of the fairway out here. There's my divot. About, uh, landed about three feet on, 10, eight feet short, and released all the way over there. Gnarly, bro. Right side is. This isn't a difficult putt at all. Story of my life though the last uh, couple weeks or so hitting it like every green but to like you know this distance about 25 feet 20 feet and then I'm not Jordan speeding it so I'm not making a whole bunch of these it'd be nice to pour this one in because I feel like I should definitely be under par right now so this one's downhill salt and seas that way I'm banking on this to kind of slide a little right even though the whole green slopes this way let's, let's see if I can trust it I probably should have kept my first line. Another par on the par streak. The par train. I'll tell you what, man. It's all about whether you putt well out here or hit it close enough on your wedge shots because this hole's in a 390 yard hole. It's pretty wide open. I mean, it was basically just driver wedge every single hole, which is what I like. The last two tournament rounds I, or tournament golf courses I played, there's OB everywhere and the greens were firm and fast and every hole was essentially like a bogey hole, even the birdie holes. Out here, I don't really feel like you can make a bogey out here. You got the like really spray one or something. But the thing is, everyone's gonna tear this place apart. He's probably gonna take at least 16 under for these three rounds to win. That one looked pretty cool going into those mountains, not going to lie. So I got 103, I'm into the wind. This one's a tough one because like I said out in the desert, 
ball seemed to stay in the air a little bit longer, especially with uh, irons and short irons. My normal sandwich goes about 105. I got my sandwich here. I'm hoping that this little breeze that's in, I mean, it can't be more than three or four miles per hour. I'm hoping that it kind of spalls this thing out a little bit, but I'm gonna try to attack again. Pretty much a green light special. Oh, and that one actually spins back. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I made good contact, but I definitely uh, pushed that one, which as per use with my wedges right now. So uphill, another 25 footer. I have this one going to the left. And as you can see, my second ball is about six feet or so. It would have been nicer. I believe this putt it's not going to be as slow as I think it is, but I'm going to give it a wrap. I would like to make a putt here. It's a pretty good line. Wow, that broke off the planet. Look at that, it still went by almost two and a half feet. Jeez Louise. This would be the only other way you can make a bogey out here is if you three putt, but the greens are pretty flat. Uh, they're kind of fast downhill, but not like horrifically fast. So it'd be kind of tough to three putt out here. Obviously I left myself a slider here, but just getting used to these greens. Another par. Hundred and eighty yards, par three. Slightly in the wind and is coming a little right to left. So I'm going to it's a little downhill, but I think the wind's gonna kinda offset the downhill. So I'm gonna play at 180. So try to fly to seven iron. it so when it got up into the air the wind kind of pushed it down to the left. This looks to be like the hardest pin position on this hole. It's like a plateau. Uh, it's on top of a little plateau and where I'm at is a little low area. I actually landed more to the more to the right and then just kind of funneled over here. It's uphill all the way relatively straight. Might go left at the end though. Climb up left to right and right to left at the end. Oh. Didn't go left at the end, but nonetheless a good putt. You guys having fun yet seeing me two putt every single hole? Very short and relatively, relatively narrow I guess, par five, only 501 yards. The bright side is when you're hitting a bunch of greens and you're hitting it, you know, relatively straight off the tee. So you get to a short par five and I feel pretty confident that I'm going to birdie this hole. He's really taking off. So this hole calls for more of a draw. So I got distracted by a coyote that was running over full speed towards me. It looked like a like a mountain lion for a second there. I almost pooped myself. So anyways, this calls for a nice tight draw. There's a gum tree on the left that you want to avoid. So I'm going to hit a draw around it.
Perfect right there. All right, I'm in position. Let's get off this par train. So I got 200 on the button of this pin. Um, this fairway is a lot more narrow than I thought it was. Obviously the rough isn't too penalizing, but the shot would be a lot easier out of the, out of the fairway. I think this is a little uphill, but I'm going to try to turbo a six iron because five iron, the trajectory won't be able to hold the green. Come out kind of like a knuckly draw. It'd be knuckly and it came out spinny. Not good. That's going to be a tough little shot. Making these birdies hard on myself. Uh, I've kind of left myself with like a little semi flop that I got to hit. It's got to land basically within four feet on the green to get kind of close. I've got to play it out to the left too. Uh, a little more than I wanted, but I hit it well. Just kind of popped it up and landed pretty soft. Got a five foot slider here, or maybe four feet. It's all about keeping the speed up on this one. All right, finally off the par streak. Holy moly. Another par four under 400 yards. This one's 392. I am loving this course. I mean, it just looks like a bomber's paradise. I'm not hitting it particularly long today, but if I can get you know my driving really down for this tournament, I think it's just basically driver wedge, make some putts, and try to make as many birdies as you can. We got 78 yards here. Pretty prime lie. I mean, this course is in great shape. Like, fairways are good, the greens are good. I'm not sure. I mean, I probably should drive up there and take a look to see where the if there's any ridges or not. I think I can kind of see one, but I'm just gonna hit a pretty stock, lowish kind of shot here and let it release up. One bounce and then kind of release. Ooh, that looks pretty good. That looks really good. Uh, basically, today's round is all about just getting a feel for the course, what it's like to hit certain shots out here, how the greens are. And then when I get closer to the tournament, which is next week, my practice round, I'll be charting out greens and potential pin positions and basically all that other good stuff, like slope and ups and downs and what yards is the play. Right now, I'm really happy with this course. I mean, this is going to be such, so much more fun and less stressful of a golf tournament than in my last two events. So I'm really excited to play out here. Just got to get that putter hot for once and I'll be in good shape. Was a word, but about right here, this is what I saw. I did notice that the green just cans from right to left, so just kind of sent it to land it right and let it scoot on up. I got about five and a half feet here for birdie for two in a row, you know. But I hit all uh, all nine greens, so I had a whole bunch of birdie offs. And so I make this one, let's go two of nine, and all of a sudden it's not too bad of a nine. It's easy to get discouraged when you uh. When you're missing putts or you're hitting greens and you're missing putts but the bright side about that is all it takes is just a couple and then you get on a rhythm or you can go on a big streak and it's it's a never get too down on yourself when you're hitting like all the greens whether you're making putts or not this is a weird looking putt it kind of goes both ways 
I'm going to play it relatively straight. Wonder. That's the back nine there guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check back in a couple days. We're gonna have part two.